Through the Looking Glass is the 65th episode of the television Star Trek, Deep Space Nine, the 19th episode of the third season. In the twisted, brutal Mirror Universe, Benjamin Sisko must assume the role of his dead counterpart in order to save the Mirror version of his late wife. Plot <inaudible> 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 Sisko is meeting with Odo and Quark in his office, and is listening to Odo's report about Quark's latest misdeeds, this time preparing with Morn to stage a vol fight. As he leaves from the security meeting, he is abducted by a double of Miles O'Brien, who takes him to the mirror universe that Kira Neris and Julian Bashir visited the year before. This O'Brien explains that Siskar's counterpart, the leader of the Terran rebellion against the Klingon Cardassian alliance, has been killed. O'Brien wants Sisko to pose as his dead counterpart and convince a Terran scientist with the alliance to join the rebels. That scientist is Jennifer Sisko, the mirror counterpart of Siskar's late wife. Since she is building a sensor device that will betray the secret location of the rebels in the Badlands, Sisko must convince her to join them before she completes her work or the rebels will have to kill her. Unwilling to watch Jennifer die again, Sisko agrees to intervene. He meets the rebel counterparts of Bashir and Rom, and also Jadzia Dax, who is Siskar's mistress in this universe. The rebel group in the Mirror Universe includes the counterpart of the Vulcan Tuvik, who in the main universe is currently stranded with the rest of the crew of Voyager in the Delta Quadrant. Terek Nor, the Mirror Deep Space Nine, is ruled by Intendant Kira for the Alliance. She tells Jennifer that the bloodshed against the Terrans will end once her device is completed. But later, Kira tortures Terran slaves in the ore processing center with the help of Garrick, her chief aide. Then, Kira discovers that Sisko is still alive. With communicators hidden under their skin, Sisko and O'Brien take a rebel ship to Terek Nor. They are immediately captured and taken to Kira, who sends O'Brien to ore processing with the slaves and takes Sisko to her quarters. Later, Sisko meets Jennifer, who despises him, and without revealing his true identity, apologizes for his past treatment of her, then says that he has come to rescue her. Sisko tries to convince Jennifer that the Alliance is her real enemy, and plans to kill the rebels once they are found. Sensing he may be winning her confidence, Sisko signals O'Brien. In all processing, O'Brien receives the signal and causes a malfunction that allows him and the Terrans to escape. Meanwhile, Jennifer agrees to leave with Sisko, they meet O'Brien, then head for a waiting ship. Before they can escape, however, they are cornered by Kira and her troops, who were tipped off by Rom, who was later killed. While Kira waits for Sisko to surrender, he slips away and herds his entire group into the ore processing center, where they seal themselves within. When Kira, Garrick, and her soldiers finally force their way in, Sisko calmly tells her that he has activated the station's self-destruct sequence, which only he can stop. Kira reluctantly agrees to let Sisko, Jennifer, O'Brien, and the Terrans go free in order to halt the imminent destruction. Sisko and the others return to the rebel encampment, where Jennifer admits to realizing that he's not really her husband. She kisses him goodbye, and Sisko returns to his universe just a bit sadder. See also Shattered Mirror Star Trek, Deep Space Nine continues Mirror Universe narrative Topic. External links Through the Looking Glass on IMDb Through the Looking Glass at Memory Alpha a Star Trek wiki Through the Looking Glass at Star Trek.com